Hey, welcome back. We are halfway through building the new Lego Friends International School. So this is the second part. If you've missed the first half, it is not here. <laughs> so they'll put a little information -y thing up in the corner so you can link to it and, and link in the description box or just search it. Google it. Or go Google it. Google it. So we're up to bag number five. Gosh, starting well with really good speaking skills. And this bag includes Autumn's. Now we've already seen Autumn's pants piece before in her house, but her new torso piece is brand new it's the old style torso piece so it's hollow on the inside which means there'll be no printing on the back but I assume that this has got something to do with the fact that she has got a limb difference so they're doing something different with how they put her arms together but I don't I mean I don't care about printing on the back for autumn her the print on the front so cute she's got little flowers tucked in a pocket there's a like lady beetle on the front so it's cute so it even looks like a jumpsuit kind of thing because the top and the bottom colors almost match kind of and she is carrying a like a screen maybe uh, with a cement or maybe like a folder and it's got you know or a clipboard a folder clipboard so it's got a picture of the hamster at the top who we'll meet soon and a whole heap of stuff info hamster info speaking of the hamster actually <laughs> this is not a hamster this is a demon he's ready for Halloween in it's glow-in-the-dark skeleton costume could have done with a like another layer of white on the face altogether Bunsen the hamster is a little bit unnerving but uh Autumn loves him so you know we'll just go with that and I'll be seeing this hamster in my nightmares so let's start with the building we've got a bright orange 16 by 8 plate on the bottom big yellow windows so there is color here if you missed the first part and you've just checked in here you've gone wow this school is super bright my eyes hurt I actually really like that rather than having I mean I like building stuff with masonry and brickwork like in realistic colors but having a school that's so bright and colorful would bring you a bit more joy maybe to go to school and I don't know whether I agree with that 100% but having a <laughs> cheerful facade maybe helps the inside as well and the actual school experiences so we got bright yellow windows kind of just mishmash plooped into the wall like this a bit of grub on the there are a couple of grubby bricks in this in this set which is interesting got a uh, chemistry kind of thing going on over here in the corner a poster so this is the science lab the science room this is where Bunsen the, <laughs> the creepy ass hamster hangs out in this little turquoise cabinet thing we've got I uh, know we're storing stuff could be like petri dishes growing random stuff to feed the hamster because that's ethical so okay we got that down down the bottom well, that's what I'm gonna think of it is anyway that's my mind cannon now up here we've got some yeah okay this one's tipped over so we've got a got a bit of a biohazard thing going on and we've got an open flame this is all going very well big pole for yeah for bubbling potions over the Bunsen burner so that's cool you got bubble like purple bubbles coming out of the Bunsen burner potion thing too which is a really good potion you shouldn't call science potions potion doesn't sound very sciencey I'm trying to find this is supposed to have a red dot no my mistake is just supposed to be brown that couldn't look at the instructions probably could I so it's supposed to be a uh, little nut little squirrel nut thing what do you call that an acorn here and they're investigating this on a microscope and check out the little dial bit on the side it's that weird hair tuft thing so that makes a perfect dial the little black screw thing it's so good that's a really great little microscope speaking of biohazard waste and spills we've got our nice big spill on the floor and the cap that's obviously fallen off that pot too that's so there's so much action happening in these new Lego friends sets it's really exciting so we've already got one thing on a pole now we've got another thing on a pole it's going in the corner ah oh, it's a skeleton this is skeleton so this is uh, yeah, skeleton. I don't know what else <laughs> to say. So we've got a human, oh sorry, a Lego minifigure skeleton in the corner. Imagine a mini doll skeleton. That would be, now that I think about it, how weird is it that the mini dolls are investigating a skeleton that is not their own skeleton? Actually, that's not weird at all. We investigate skeletons of other species all the time. So I don't know where I was going with that. Got a bit confused. Be cool to have a mini doll skeleton, I think, was my point that I was trying to make. <laughs> got distracted, as they often do. So we've got another set of drawers here. Got a bit of green floof in this. And this is, ah, uh, so this is where Bunsen the hamster, uh, this is where it hangs out, where he hangs out. It's got his little sticker on the side so you can't 
mistake that that's his little habitat. And the little green floof in there is obviously some food for Bunsen, the creepy ass hamster. And on the hook above, on that blue hook, actually got a little water drip thing too. That's such a really clever little design. Very, very simple, really, really perfect. Now on the top, got some nice structure happening and smoothing over with some jumper studs, which means that every, like every one of these floors is detachable and modular and you can mix and match them around. So this is where Autumn apparently likes to hang out because she just likes all the sciencey stuff and the animals, well the animals specifically. We got a uh, hazard, no don't walk here thing tripod, I can't, I don't know how it's supposed to quite stand up over all of the little dots. There must be a spot that it could sit that's kind of precariously balanced there. Now on the outside we've got, oh these are supposed to have big long stick. Oh, okay so when I got this out of the instruction, the instructions thing, I left a whole sticker sheet in there. So if you think you're missing something, here it is, ta-da! Go back and check the bags, the box, everything. Don't throw your Lego box or the Lego bags away before you finish the build because often you will leave things in there if you're anything like me. So we've got these really nice big banners with school and like big the world on either side of the halves there. It looks really cool. So that's our international school emblemy logo-y kind of thing happening. This is the next floor. So we've got, actually I don't know if this is technically a floor. This is I think the roof for what we've just built for the science classroom. So this gets just a nice little bit of detailing on it, but its primary purpose is, well, to keep the rain out of the classrooms, but to hold this big signage, this big brick built sign, which is, oh, look at that, there's brown on some of these white bricks, which is really weird. I can't scrape it off, but we're covering it with stickers, so that's fine. So this big, what was I trying to say? Big brick built sign is actually making an open like textbook it's really cool. So we've got the top half here and the sticker, sorry, the art, the graphic art on this is echoing the same style as the big pictures you've got in the cafeteria as well. So bold colours with white outlines on the inside. Just look at that, look at that beautiful big open textbook. So that is the school sign at the top. The banners also set it off beautifully and this sits on top. Oh, okay. So not on yeah, yeah. So this is on top of the science classroom, which also sits on top of the front entryway, and then it plugs in over here on a right angle. Where is this supposed to be? Oh, knocked out of the lockers. So there we go. Look at that. Oh, and the turquoise line just goes beautifully around the corner. Ooh, that's so pretty. And of course we're up to, this is the ideal place to have the next bag. So this is bag number six. So bag number six also holds another character. This one's got Ollie in it. And we've already seen Ollie in this exact outfit in the downtown flower and design stores. But since I built that, we've seen the first episode. So Ollie's got like this refined English accent in the series. So he's like this flamboyant Harry Potter of the Friends world. <laughs> it's so cute. I can't wait to find out more about the characters with more episodes. So, okay, yeah, same outfit. We got Ollie, he's uh, sporting a green camera because obviously he's into all of the modern, the film, film and technology side of schooling. That's his favorite part. So let's build that classroom. That's the whole point, I think, of why Ollie is included in this part, well, in this particular bag. So we've got another entryway down here because we've got a green grassy outcrop and a yeah, yellow front front entryway, I think. A couple of little little stepping stones. A big, big screen here, which has got some video editing software happening going on over there with Leanne and Ollie on it. And that is like, that's their, their smart board, I suppose, over there on the wall. Enormous turquoise door slash window panels. And on this big white panel is another sticker which gives you all of their AV equipment. So wow, there's some fancy yeah, some really high-end recording, yeah, AV stuff, audiovisual stuff. Okay, and another big, oh, so the slides, oh, that's so cool. So the massive big sliding door here. So this is, an, yeah, another entry into the school or an exit. It's always good to have a couple of entries and exits for fire, fire and emergency situations. So this one is going to be plugged in, yeah, okay. It's going to be on the bottom of the building we've just had I think down right next door to where the down to where the main entryway is so we got some black jumper studs down on the bottom because we're putting in three little chairs and each of these chairs have got such a cool little feature we got a black ice cream cone with one of those brown lozenge pieces that we saw in the previous video which are used as a pathway but they're actually used as the desk bit like the desk bit that you can slide out and 
Yeah, slide in to hold them in place. It's sitting up a little bit there. I think that's good. So we got three of these. How cute are they? They're just such a, they are such an inspired design. So they go onto the black little round jumper stud bits and they're obviously designed to be able to pop in and out really, really easily. There's room for three students there. I mean, you wouldn't be able to put any more in there. You could put another one in the corner, but then they'd be right in the way of the door. So you can cram as, <laughs> you can cram as much as you want in here when you want to customize it. But when Lego is putting together the design of this they always they, they have to think about the fact that people would get annoyed if you know, they couldn't get in through the door because there was a big chair in the way so we've got enough room here for three characters so that's cool and then we've got a blue clip and uh i don't know what this is yeah i do know what this is i do so this is a projector so it's not a smart board as oh no hold on smart boards do have projectors to them this is nice high tech this school yeah this is a brand new school with lots of brand new equipment it's not, <laughs> Nico's out of his chair. We'll just send him outside to walk it off for a bit. So projecting the big screen thing happening over on the other wall. This is the teacher's desk. Such a cute little design. Got a spot there for a pen and just enough room for the teacher to stand there. And there's a little bench just behind her to display or to hold this big carbuncle, which is a fantastic build of a like a high end movie video camera. Look at this. How cool is this? And it's got the microphone thing on the top and I'm trying to put this to, why doesn't he not hold this properly um, he can angle the little hand grip thing oh because it's backwards <laughs> such a fool okay good sorted that so this actually holds no it actually sits over here on the little bench when Ollie's not busy holding it backwards that was my fault sorry Ollie I'm gonna blame you though it was his fault it was so his fault next level up we're putting on the smoothers and the jumper stud things so that the next floor is entirely detachable but this floor looks great got another clock in here I've timed it at 10 past 3 which is always a nice hour of the school day and this looks like it might be another buildable sign of some sort it is not a buildable sign. This is actually a really clever way to make a basketball hoop. And I think all of the Heart Lake City schools have included a basketball hoop. Like there have been two previous to this one and they've all been a different design. And this one I think is the cleverest of them all because it's really tidy and it really does look like a basketball hoop. So that pops down like that and then you've got I mean that doesn't look like a basketball but at least it's got a flat bottom on this yeah so it doesn't just roll away and it gets lost within the first two minutes which is what always happens to me and it plugs in over here on the side and there we go we're at the end of this bag because we finished that room it's so, so tidy we're up to bag number seven which is everybody's favorite classroom is it though I mean it's often it's a fun class not everyone can be good at art <laughs> viz arts but you know it's always fun to do it so this is slightly different I kind of expected I mean it's on a bright yellow 16 by 8 plate but oh I've got the wrong colors here there we go no 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 I need the dark green I, I was right the first time so we've got some nice flowers here outside the big yellow window frame so here, this is a slightly different design it's gonna be a little bit smaller on the inside because they've designed in a flower section little garden bed on one side which is really cute it's just not it's not I mean it's still boxy but it's it's an it's interesting boxy it's boxy with added features <laughs> and we've got the yellow outcropping kind of randomly positioned windows that we saw on the other room yeah I think this is lined up this is gonna be lined up next to the science room okay so inside we have got a table with you we're starting off with a computer so we've got the mouse there on the side got a pen because if you're making art on a computer it's always so much easier with a digital pen and there's our little screen for I mean that's kind of a nice generic graphic art screen so you could use that in any themes this one here is going to be the second monitor and this has got look this is this is Leanne's thing everywhere you see Leanne stuff there is this panda like I feel as though it's like a bandit panda I don't know what's it's not a panda it's a bin panda it's a raccoon oh my gosh <laughs> yeah okay but anyway it's Leanne's thing so we do see this raccoon in 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 all of the Leanne stuff at the moment I'm just I think it's her her thing her character that she's created so we've got two easels now two art easels but they get a little bit of a point of difference so this one has a blue paintbrush with a little blue paint pot ready to go and this one's got a green one with a green paint pot they're not quite the same shade of green but you know I'm not gonna be too picky at the moment it's cool to have variety here it used to all just be green this is a picture by paisley because it's signed by paisley down the bottom little round bunny egg and this one is once again that bin panda <laughs> trash panda that's that's leanne's raccoon 
reclining on a beach. Very nice. So two different styles, two different levels of art expertise, but I've put these in the wrong spot. So let's move them over a bit. But that's really cute. It's so cute to just see them, see how different they are. Everybody's style is different. So it's a bit sad because the two paintings are by people who aren't actually included in the set. Ah, you can't have everything. So over on the side are a couple of cupboards. No, a couple of storage units here. And this, this drawer we got pink and orange so you can change out your paint pots for those and on the top is a palette this one's got the blue sh the shades of blue normally they're not blue we've only seen that colored palette before in the starry night van gogh set so it's really cool to see it here in lego friend set here's a picture from alia and it is on the side here it's horses again horse thing oh, alia <laughs> started wrong i'm gonna have trouble i'm gonna get it right though so because Aaliyah is actually included in this set, I'm going to swap out Leanne's picture and put uh, Aaliyah's on here and give her the paintbrush so she can be busy finishing up her horse, her little horse picture. And then when we move Leanne in, we can swap them over. So cool. So many options. There's so, so many awesome details in these new sets. They're blowing my mind with their wonderful that was the actual design of them so much fun okay on the top we get our structure here we got our smooth bits we're getting our jumper studs though that we can put i mean you can just keep part <laughs> you can make all the rooms just go completely up if you want might look a bit weird with some of the grassy sections but it doesn't matter weird is good this is a bit of greenery on the outside I just love how this is just slightly different. And now we get yet another, no we don't. This is not another room, calm your farm, Ellie. This is actually another roofing bit in dark turquoise. And on the roof is boomerang. <laughs> boomerang that somebody has, I mean, normally it's a ball. So it's soccer balls on the roof, right? But in this case it's a boomerang. Does that mean there's someone really Australian here? <laughs> it seems like an interesting choice and a little bit of like a bit of a flower bed so that goes nicely with the flower bed underneath there's room up there for more stuff so this goes on top here of the of the av classroom and then this then plugs in where does it go yeah so it goes over moving everyone over Oh, so it plugs in here and those two big yellow windows actually line up. So you'll be able to see from the science classroom into the art classroom. And like I said, well, kind of, but there's a, yeah, you can, you can kind of. That's really, really nice. But there's this big empty space over here, which kind of looks unfinished, right? And the roof, you've got lots of room up there for creativity. I'm just saying... I'm, I, I know that Lego can only fit so many pieces in, otherwise it just becomes unaffordable. But it's now, it's now creating time to add your own stuff to it. And, and there's like spaces to do that. And you can mix and match around because everything is unplug and play. <laughs> unplug and play. So you can move all of these, yeah, all of these sections come apart and you can stack all of these sections too. So I'm going to have to have a fiddle around with how many different ways you can actually configure this yeah this school and then add to it we could make a mega school oh that would be fun all right so many plans i always have so many plans i just don't have enough hours of the day to execute them but i will try i will try <laughs> all right so there we go the international school is complete there is room here for yeah for enhancement so let me know in the comments what you think of the set as it currently is and what you would add to it if it was to make it a perfect school for you. So curious to see what you think. All right, subscribe, notifications, click the little like thumb thing, and I'll be back with another video really soon. So I'll see you then. Bye.